On Celebrity Fit, Physique TV met with cricket player and former South African national team captain, Graham Smith. Uh, well, I was born in Joburg, uh, moved to Cape Town as an 18-year-old son for uh, Western Province. Uh, started playing for South Africa when I was around 21 years old and uh, started captaining South Africa when I was 22. And yeah, I was really lucky to have a, a pretty amazing career on the international level and uh, you know, got to play in all many parts of the world and you know, I was very, very fortunate that I was able to make a success of it. You know, when you look back over the 11 years, that journey is quite long and quite extensive, you know, a lot of great stories in there, a lot of great uh, life lessons and um, yeah, very, very lucky. I, I think when I was growing up there were so many amazing people, I mean, obviously your family, they make the time and the effort to get to where you need to go to and your parents work hard to give you the opportunities, so I've got to say my family, but um, you know, there were so many great, wonderful heroes uh, when I was growing up in the game of cricket, you know, people that you could look up to. But I was funny, I was a guy that, um, you know, stuff came from inside of me. I, that, that was my driving force. So I took little bits and pieces from many greats and fantastic people and cricketers. But, you know, I think I always wanted my own strength to come from inside myself. So I knew that there was some substance there. And I was really fortunate that way. Uh, I got a lot of my inner drivers, my little, um, you know, want to be successful in the game of cricket came, came from inside myself. But, um, you know, I was really blessed to play with and against many, many heroes. I think that's something that I look back on, you know, these, the icons of, of world sports have competed at that level with these guys, it's quite incredible. For me, um, I was always quite a big guy, I'm tall, six foot four, um, so to, to trying to be light on my feet was, was my greatest obstacle. So I did a lot of uh, you know, ladder work, a lot of footwork, a lot of uh, you know, keeping myself light, my feet side to side stuff. And then obviously the naturally a lot of running, um, you know, building up the ability to be on your legs for long periods of time um, and be able to concentrate, you know, that's the thing. When you get tired, you lose concentration and in sport you can't afford to, to lose the concentration. So I think you're always doing a lot of cross training stuff. I, I actually enjoyed boxing. I enjoyed boxing. Uh, I found it was a great uh, stress reliever, an opportunity to work different cardio muscles. Um, and, and obviously, you know, core stability also, which is a key, key part of, uh, of sport. I've, I've always enjoyed, you know, protein. That's always my thing. I've never really been a huge carb guy. Uh, you know, I, luckily I've, I eat my vegetables, but, you know, I think uh, when, when you travel, you know, we travel for such long periods that you have to, you know, find a way to also adapt to the cultures of where you are. You have to learn to, to eat the food, I mean, you're not going in for a week and, and living on the same meal all the time as a professional sportsman or as a professional cricketer. So you have to learn what's good for you and what's not, and, and, and also adapt it to the cultures that where you are in the world. I mean, it's been a year since I've been, you know, officially out of the game of cricket. Uh, well, I haven't played, so. You know, I'm involved in the media side of the game now, so I do a lot of commentary. Um, business for me is something that I'm interested in. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to be playing in uh, a couple of um, Masters League tournaments here. One is going to be in Dubai, so I will be playing a little bit of cricket. So I'm going to have to start uh, taking, taking better care of myself again now over the next sort of uh, couple of months. I think life is constantly serving you lessons, you know, I think uh, and it's about being in a space where you can be humble enough to reflect on that and, and, and uh, you know, use it as a platform to move forward, you know, I think uh, that's the thing, if you, if you don't learn those lessons, you're going you're gonna to pretty much stagnate, I think, uh, especially in our world of sports, you know, yes, you, you do become cocooned, you do become, you know, in an environment where you need to perform and you become a little bit insular, but it's so important to have those people that you can rely on to help you grow, um, and I think that's where I was fortunate. I think anything in life that you want, you know, to be successful in, you've got to enjoy it because the amount of time and effort that you put into to get into that place is uh, is huge. I think everyone in life just sees the end of the movie. They see the guy that's made all the money. They see the sportsman who's 
scoring goals in front of thousands and thousands of people or, or hundreds in front of 100,000 people in Eden Gardens, but it's, ne it's never that, you know. It's the hard work from a young kid to, to where you actually get the opportunity to live your dream. And you will make a lot of sacrifices, but if you love it, you know, you'll be prepared to do it. And, um, you know, you'll get the opportunity to meet a lot of amazing people along the way and uh, make a lot of good friends.